Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to the AI Tech Explain Right channel, the place for AI enthusiasts and professionals to stay updated with AI advance. In this video, we will add memory to an LLM powered chatbot built with LangGraph and web search tool. To do so, we'll walk through this notebook, which is a continuity of the one that I present in the previous video of this series. The main outcome in this tutorial is the fact that with memory the chatbot will be able to remember past interactions which enables it to have coherent and multi-turn conversations. So in summary, we start with installing necessary packages to make our code work, setting environment variables, importing necessary packages and finally creating our chatbot using LangGraph tools and memory to answer questions. I will put the link to the notebook in the video description guys. Let's get our hands dirty now. To install necessary packages, you need to run this cell. Next, you need to set your Tavli and OpenAI environment variables. This way, to do so, you need to get your keys on your Tavli and OpenAI accounts. So you need to create accounts if you don't have ones. As in the last videos, I'm not planning to go into details on how to create your accounts and get your keys in this video, but don't hesitate to let me know if you have any problems with that after that you need to import these packages now the next steps guys are the same as the ones that i presented in the previous video except the fact that in this notebook we use the pre-built graph builder objects which are add node and add conditional edges instead of implementing them like we did last time now we need to include memory. To do so, LangGraph provides persistent checkpointing by providing a checkpointer when compiling the graph and the thread ID when calling the graph. LangGraph automatically saves the state after each step. When you invoke the graph again using the same thread ID, the graph loads its saved state, allowing the chatbot to pick up where it left off. Let's visualize the graph we've built now using the getGraph method. Now you can interact with your bot. First, pick a thread to use as the key of this conversation. Next, call your chatbot. Here, our message is, hi there, my name is Will. And the bot's answer is, hi Will, how can I assist you today? Let's ask a follow-up question now to see if it remembers your name and the bot's answer is got it will how can i assist you today so it remembers the name now if we ask the bot if it remembers my name but by changing the thread id to two instead of the one defined in the config and in the answer we have you haven't mentioned your name yet could you please tell me your name so when we change the thread id the bot didn't remember the name as it doesn't have this information in in its memory by now we have made a few checkpoints across two different threads but what goes into a checkpoint guys to inspect a graph state for a given config at any time let's call get state with the defined config and here when we print the snapshot as you see we have information related to the graph state including the human messages, the AI messages, some metadata like the number of tokens, the used model name, the thread ID, and so on. Now, since the graph ended his turn, when you call next, the answer is empty. If you fetch a state from within a graph invocation, next tells which node will execute next. So this is it guys for today. Congratulations, your chatbot can now maintain conversation state across sessions thanks to LangGraph's checkpointing system. This opens up exciting possibilities for more natural contextual interactions. LangGraph's checkpointing even handles arbitrarily complex graph states, which is much more expensive and powerful than simple chat memory. In the next part, we'll introduce human oversight to our bot to handle situations where it may need guidance or verification before proceeding. 
thanks guys for watching i hope you like the video don't hesitate to put thumb up if it's the case and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to have more videos like this one don't hesitate to put a comment if you need more details on any concept about which i talked so far and see you next time